Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walk. Dude, I just went right between that torch through. I checked, and no, I'm I'm good with my side questing. So that means I could put my rupees in the bank, reset to the dawn of the first day, and do the usual routine. Voila! I think I'll actually put it in the bank this time, because I do believe we're going to come across a bunch of rupees anyway along the way, so yeah. Now, this guy, he's got some new dialogue. After this, at Great Bay, you can see clear to the ocean, it lies this way. Be careful. Thank you very much. Now, um... Yeah, yeah, we're gonna call our horse, because while the game hinted that we needed a horse, though, and we do need the horse to go on, we weren't really given any sort of directions. <laughs> we just kind of had to somehow find our way to the ranch and somehow gotten our way over to the, you know, to get the powder kegs and stuff like that. You had to do all that stuff without really... Any sort of hints. <laughs> this is a this game is a good example of the the guide please trope, I guess you could say. So here we are at the Great Bay, and it's got another remix of a, the same song we've heard a couple of times. We can jump over this stuff because why not? Yeah, baby. And now I'm gonna go. Oh wait, did I ever get a? Uh... Uh, we just want to go down here, but yeah, did I ever get the? Uh tattle for the levers? I don't think I ever did. You know what, the lever right actually moves pretty fast. That's not exactly good news, is it? No, it is not. Oh! <laughs> well, anyway, what I want to do... Uh, you know, what I want to do is get in the water. See, there's, there's some... See, there's some seagulls flying over there, and let's just see if we can get some dialogue going on over here. Uh, I thought that there was, like, a little bit of dialogue going on somewhere around these parts. Like, if you touch a certain spot, you'll get a... There it is! There it is! There it is! Hey, what do you think that is? Out there in the bay, beneath the gulls are flying. Can you see it? So, yeah. Okay, that's what I was saying. I was just waiting for that to pop up from wherever it pops up from. So let's just go over here and... Oh! Somebody! Oh! Please! Oh, get me! Sure. Yeah, okay. So there's this guy here, just kind of. He needs a push, basically. He just needs to get behind them and. Oh, oh yeah. I want to get and grab, get and. Gr there we go! <laughs> and once we get close enough, he'll just kind of go the rest of his own way. You'll see when we get there. Just kind of. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. And we made it. Yeah, it took a little while there, but he'll let it. Oh, eee. energy low. Need fish food. You can do it. I believe in you. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. I don't think he's going to make it much farther. But I have faith that you can if you really try it. Oh, man, maybe not. Well, okay. Yeah, how's it going? Oh, I'm a cow of the Zora people, guitarist in the Zora band. I think this is it for me. My final message. Will you listen to it? Yeah, sure, I'll listen. And suddenly, he's got energy! One, two, three! Oh, baby, baby, listen to me! The carnival's beginning soon! We're the ones they're waiting to see! But that girl, a vocalist, she laid some strange eggs. She's lost her voice, you can't hear what she says! Oh, oh and great bang, now something is happening, is it now? Oh, baby, listen to me! I don't want to beg! Grudel pirates, they stole that girl's eggs! Went to stop the Gerudo Pirates, and then pow, bam, I got knocked down, and here I am. 
Maybe if I die like this, even if I die, it won't be in peace, that's for sure! Somebody please rescue your eggs before the pirates take the toll! Oh, somebody, somebody, please heal my soul! Yay. That's all, thank you. You know, I really find it hard to believe that he, he he's really lacking energy and he's about to die after watching that. But anyway, Song of Healing. Obviously. <laughs> just really now, I just that made no sense whatsoever, considering the severe lack of energy he had up to that point. And now we wait for another cutscene. The cutscene has begun, actually. <laughs> He's floating. Floating in the inky blackness. While the classic Song of Healing plays and he's gonna be revived! Okay, maybe not. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Who is. Mm, maybe. His girl, perhaps? Okay, it is. <laughs> if it wasn't implied. And if you didn't get the amplification, excuse me. And he's a part of a band, too, by the way, as you can tell. Yep. All healed up. I guess. <laughs> and... Nope, he didn't make it. But... A mask pops in his place! So I think you know what that means. I think you do. It's another transformation mask. Zora Mask. This mask contains the spirit of a legendary guitarist. Where the mask could see to inhabit the body of Zora till see again the return. You know this stuff. Oh, Carve my farewell song on my grave. I'm depending on you to help that singer girl. And he just keeps on playing, even into the afterlife. And Link sets up a little stone for him. Well, not so much a stone as it is a guitar grave. Yes. And the guitar will never be played again, I, I guess. Herein lies the Mike McCall, legendary guitarist of the Zora Tribe. He is a remembered in song. His lyrics are written here. Yeah, I'll try and sing that. Sharp fins on the market. <laughs> okay, I probably won't. Shouldn't do that again. We swim, speeding through the seas with A and control stick. If I press off swimming, a shield is produced to deflect enemies. If you have magic, we can even die by pressing Z. Oh, oh, we are the Zora. Oh, man. Wait, did, hold on. Did that say... Press Z? Hold on a sec. Oh shoot, wait, wait. Uh, eh? Yeah, pressing B. Why did I say Z? <laughs> I was gonna say, there's no, there's no Z button. It, it, well, at least in the translation of sorts. I mean, there's a Z button for C down, but there's actually no C button. It's the L button. For my punch of anger, hit B. Press B repeatedly for a fury with flurry of attacks. Yeah, yeah! My deadly move, press and hold B, now release, it's the final blow, my double cutters. Anyway, I should probably just get over to another disturbing cutscene, just to kind of get this over with. Oh god, okay, I can't wait, we're okay. Alright, now we can sort of practice our moves here, as it's all nice and comfy and out in the open. For some reason, he always steps forward when he does that first move just a little bit, which really sucks when... <laughs> When you're trying to do like, like certain stuff that you're trying to stay away from, uh, they fix that in the 3DS version. <laughs> um, there's al also other stuff that's been fixed of the Zora controls. Um, like for instance, so there's only like two speeds that you can go. Uh, yeah, there's this, this there's turbo speed right here, and then there's just kind of like walking speed here there but they give you like an in-between in the 3ds version which is so much handier because of stuff you're gonna see a little bit later on in the tighter areas it is going to suck i assure you oh yeah that's right i need the sword specifically the sword <laughs> all right now that i got that set up we can go up here and take a look see 
as to what is going on up here. Marine Research Lab, researching with water quality and marine life forms in Great Bay. By the way, um, if you should need Tingle's help, yeah, he's up there. <laughs> you know his dialogue, though, by now, I'm sure. Uh, but we already got the map for Great Bay, so, meh. They're late. They're like, whoa, 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 what is all Zora's doing? What is it, boy? Did you also come to watch the Zora eggs hatch? I'm excited about it, too, but those important eggs haven't arrived yet. It takes about one to three days from the time Zora eggs are laid for the hatch, but if they aren't kept in this aquarium until then, they may die. The reason for this is that the recent abnormal water has caused the ocean temperature to rise in this region, so our eggs are very sensitive to change in the temperature. The only way the eggs can hatch is if they're placed in this aquarium water, which I set aside for them long ago. The Zoras are well aware of this, but they're still late. I wonder if something has happened at the Zora Hall. Hmm, hmm, I wonder, I wonder. Well, you can't climb up there, but there's really nothing to climb up there too. And this fish tank here is a part of a, a side quest a little bit later on. So yeah, we gotta feed it a bunch of fish and we'll get a heart piece out of that. I think you need to take four fish to that. Um, but I'll probably only do that when I have four bottles. As you see, we, we've got three. We got, uh, from that milk that we got from one of the quests, we got, uh, the power of another bottle there, which is gonna be handy up to a certain point, and I'll get a fourth bottle around this place as well to carry eggs in from, a, I guess you could say a super secret type area that's not so secret so much as it is mandatory. But yeah, for the most part here, I'm just kind of exploring around here to show you what the poop I am going to be doing here for the future and just showing you around and stuff like that. And this this right here is uh, it's another spider house. I mean, oh, oh, this isn't the one. The other one's another spider house, excuse me. So uh, that's something that we can only do after we get the, the hook shot. Uh, if it isn't a Zora, how have things been going lately? Ah, are you going to be coming to see me because you can't catch any fish? It's not good out there. Lately I've been coming back empty handed myself. Why, I was almost hoping you were coming to share it with me. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, how's it going? Help me! Please take me back to the water with your pinnacle rock! You're interested in that fish? It's a rare fish, isn't it? It's called a seahorse! I caught it swimming around here just off of Pinnacle Rock. Since it's rare, I was thinking of selling it at the town carnival, which should be starting soon. If you want, I'll give it to you on one condition. Do you have a pictograph of the female pirates? I do not. What's this? I guess you don't have one after all. Technically, I do have a pictograph of a female pirate, but it's all blurry and it's not that great. The all-important face. I can't see it very well. Any good picture of a pirate will do, even a snapshot of a guard. Can't you help me out? So, yeah, we don't have the powers of the pictograph, but we will a little bit later. I just want to see if there's any, uh, any sort of different dialogue here. No, I guess not. Okay. I just figured because I'm human now. <laughs> Moving on, and I don't know if it's any faster being as Azor as compared to the bunny hood, so I think I'll just bunny hood it up and leave my horse to kind of chew at the sand or something like that, whatever you want to say. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we're rehearsing the Zora Hall, the Indigos! Yeah, baby, we gotta go check those babies out. Um, down there is the Zora Hall, actually. And I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you here really quick. Just how annoying the Zora controls can be here. Uh, you're an unusual sight to see in this neck of the water. You came to see the Zora band, the Indigo Goes, didn't you? Remember the Indigo Goes are in the Zora Hall up ahead, but the entrance is underwater. So if you're on a good diary, you probably won't make it in. Zora game site, those who recklessly break pots will be fine. But yet, you, you're, if you break them all, you'll you'll get a prize, but whatever. <laughs> can you break all those jars behind me one try? Among us, Zora, there are some who can. If you do it, I'll give you something good. So this is what kind of makes the Zora controls pretty annoying, is that when you're when you're doing this this mini game such as this, you want to get yourself in just the right position, right? To do this boomerang attack and get them all at once. But the issue with this is... Now, if you were to try that again, what's wrong? We lost your touch with playing too much guitar, Macau. And you used to be able to break all those pots at once. The motion was all stiff, like someone who's not used to doing this. Sorry, but I have to take ten rupees for those broken jars. I don't have rupees. Gonna have to eat the cost. <laughs> so now, now ever since, 
every time we do this, we're going to move forward ever so slightly, which makes it incredibly difficult to actually get ah poopers to actually get this. But well, at least since I don't have rupees, I, I can show it an unlimited amount of tries, right? Right, without kind of running my wallet dry. <laughs> It's, you don't really get anything for doing so, but it's just the thing of that you can do this. You gotta sort of kind of find your way to the perfect spot. And look at that, see, I, I, I got moved forward just the ever so slightly bit. So that, uh, so yeah, of course I'm gonna miss because I wasn't in the spot that I needed to be at. And yeah, this, this, this is why they kind of fixed it in the 3DS version. <laughs> Because that that forward mo that forward momentum that happens when you do your first attack, it it can sometimes make you fall right off a ledge if you're attacking something near a ledge. So yeah, the Zora controls could use some work. <laughs> oh, and also, if you're trying to get out of this, like you see, you press the A button to return, it automatically puts you back into it, and there's no way out of that without actually releasing your punch. Polished. <laughs> um, they also fixed that in the 3DS version. And uh, let's see if we can do this just once. Oh, come on, man. Ah, I was too close that time. Ah, come on, come on, come on. I don't have all day. Especially with that timer ticking away there. Ah, maybe I should just cut until I get it so you can see the dialogue. Yeah, there we go! So that's the perfect spot, apparently. Way to go, Macau! You got a big smirk on your face. Well, here's 100 rupees, except jar replacement costs 10 rupees, so I'll have to duck that. I got 90 rupees! Don't, don't the, don't, don't forget that, I mean, I, I should say he, he completely forgot that we broke so many jars that, never mind. <laughs> um, up there is the Great Fairies Fountain. You know, with all the fairies got broken up as usual, and blah, blah, blah. so yeah. Oh! oh yeah, that's a that's a new enemy, so I should probably get a a tattle going here. That's a skullfish. Look, don't ask me about everything, all right? So yeah, if if, if you're on the ground here, thusly you can battle them as yeah. But in the water, you're gonna have to do the old R button shield thingy jigger, even though that it's it takes up magic power and stuff like that. So. Use it! Uh, use, I didn't even see that because my body was in the way. <laughs> use it at your own peril, I guess you could say, of using up your magic power. This is a like-like. It eats whatever you're carrying. You better defeat it if you want your stuff back. That's a pretty dangerous enemy, actually. It could steal my shield and stuff, and it would just be, be disastrous. Come on. Come on. Come you freaking, I cannot believe I can't hit this fish. <laughs> Unbelievable how the game's Zora's controls are. So yeah, hitting it with the boomerang only stuns it, and the, the fish just keep on spawning unlimitedly if I recall correctly, so I, I probably shouldn't stick around here too long. <laughs> This is, let's just check out the Zora Hall here, and maybe we can get some more information on how to progress forward. Maybe, maybe there isn't that much. Well, I, well, I guess there is a, lot, a bunch to check here, but I, I was gonna say there isn't that much to check. But at the same time, there kind of is, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's just all kind of tightly packed, basically. Uh, let's go around this way then, I suppose. Hey, how's it going? Ah, you're Macau, right? Good luck practicing for the concerts! I'm looking forward to your rehearsal! And the, most of these critters are gonna have very little to say. <laughs> now let's hop through the rehearsal. I've been told the rehearsal is about to begin, but the band members are still shut away in their rooms and Lulu's just hanging out by that lone island out back. What's going on? I don't know! We gotta get some more info, don't we? It's a shop. In case your shield is eaten, you can go and buy one here. <laughs> it's it's kind of kind of pricey, so don't get eaten by the like like if you can help it. Your band's popularity is amazing. We've got all kinds of people coming into the shop lately. Uh, let's just take a peek, see around the room here, really quick. There's like a shipwreck going on back there. You might want to clean up your shop 
somewhere along the line. Unless he's just got that sitting up there for decoration or something like that. Now, going up here, this will lead to the backside where Lulu is. And she's like, dot, dot, dot. Da, 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 da. That sad face is trying to tell you something. You can see it in her expression. Uh, Great Bay Temple ahead, swimming. Blah, 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 blah. It's the same, same dialogue. Here's another owl statue, so she can warp by here a little bit quicker in the future. As a fairy, too. How nice. I, I, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> back to being a Zara, and back in we go to explore some more stuff. Uh, going around this way will lead you to the higher area, which as long as I'm here I might as well do that, because then I can just jump down from there and continue my exploration trek. See this? Yeah. He's like, ah, Macau. Hey, what's Lulu doing now? I'm so jealous if you'd always be able to breathe the same air as Lulu. And you know a side of Lulu that I don't. You know her private side, don't you? That's wonderful. I won't ask you to introduce me. Pick up a half a do. Show me Lulu's private side. Um, no, 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 no. If it's about Lulu, I want to know everything. I'll take anything. You know, I'm the consummate fan. That's a little bit of a side quest there for later on. And you can also sh uh, turn on those torches for something else later on, too. But I'm just going to kind of save that. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of. Focus on progress here, I suppose. Hey, Mikau, I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been? Oh, that's right. Having your band leader is looking for you. Alright, let's just see what the band leader is doing here. How's it going? Mikau, where have you been? Where have you been? I was worried. A concert in town is coming up, but it seems like all the band members in a funk. I bet you didn't know that, huh? Especially Lulu. I haven't heard her voice in a long time. She's usually in good spirits, too. Oh, oh! I wonder if this is related to the ocean turning all weird. Actually, I know a little bit of Lulu's secrets. I would like to hear that. There's a rumor that the ocean is getting weird because there's trouble offshore at the Great Bay Temple. And they say when that happens, something bad will be a fall to Zora, the descendant who's been protecting the temple. I do catch my drift, and lately Lulu has been looking kind of weird. Maybe Lulu's the... 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 Protector. <laughs> Let's just put it that way, yes. Just make it... Just spell it out for you. <laughs> Kyle, you need to see Jappos? You're gonna have another jam session with him, aren't you? I can't wait! Yeah, good times. Let's go and have a jam session. Sup? <laughs> I said. I I said. I said. Oh, I have to be far enough away again. Macau, where have you been? I'm all like, hey, where's Macau? The current is coming up soon. Now our band leader has been pulled a vanishing act. Evan's all hole up in his room just writing songs. And to top it all off, Lulu is just standing at belt back staring at the sea. She doesn't even respond when you talk to her. If you guys think it's just because Lulu's not interested in me, I don't understand. But I'm telling you, it looks like something's really wrong. Is there something you're trying to hide from me? I'm not running an inquiry or anything. <laughs> Look, if you don't start rehearsing real soon, we're not going to be ready for the concerts. Yeah, so everyone's really focused on the concert. Not really given much info as to what the poop we need to do. <laughs> Uh, this guy, he's fixing the speakers here. Look how you're just in time. I want to check the levels and you're the car. Could you play me a note? Eh, 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 sure, why not? I'll just whip this out. Huh? Eh, that's a little too quiet. Guess I'll turn it up a bit. Okay, thanks, Macau. Let's try it again. Oh! Eh, that's a little too loud. I guess I'll turn it down a bit. Okay, thanks, Macau. And this cycle just basically goes infinitely. <laughs> What do you want, Mikau? Are you checking the stage? I don't know why, there's something wrong with the lighting. Yeah, it's those torches that I was talking about, but... Again, side quests for later. Uh, shut up, I'm busy right now. Ah, Mikau, you caught me! I, I, yeah, I, I mean, Lulu's been a little bit kind of weird lately. I was a bit worried. I was a I was or anything, and that's a kind of weird or some sort of slimy situation. Um, yeah. Uh, I just remember I was sort of a bee with time to be under it. It doesn't have to be the under the Yeah. And if you follow him, he'll go all the way up to the top, where that other one was that wanted to pick the graph. So, yeah. <laughs> and here's a part of the business scrub trading sequence. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business with a focus on Zora. That makes you a potential customer. 
Uh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. I, <laughs> if you're calling me the guy that died, never mind. No. <laughs> this is a messy room. Something happening here? Well, I really can't do anything about it. See, a green potion. That's to refill your magic, but no thank you. That is good. I mean, I am okay with that. Yeah, you'll get a heart piece if you do that later on, but... Well, well. Lulu's diary. It's been a two days since I've lost my voice. I don't want my cow to know. So I talked to Evan about it. He recommended that I take the eggs to the marine research lab to have them checked. I think I'll take them right away. Such a terrible thing has happened today that I don't even know where to begin writing. I heard a sound late at night, and when I opened my eyes, I saw strangers in my room. I tried to fight, but they were able to steal my precious eggs. It seems I lost consciousness after that. Today I told everything to Mikau, the one person whom I didn't want to know about it. At first I was too embarrassed and too sad to do anything, and with the words that Mikau said at the moment, I felt that all hope had been lost. But please, Mikau, I'm begging you, don't do anything rash. So, yeah, um... Yeah, this is, this is not actually our room, but... <laughs> we got... Uh oh uh, mm, You come back here. You come back here. Oh, jeez, he's Sonic the Hedgehog. He's going so fast. <laughs> oh, jeez, what the heck? So yeah, he's just, just gonna keep going up there. And we're gonna see the dialogue for kicks just before I go back out. So, our only lead here, basically, is to get the eggs back. And the eggs were apparently stolen. Shut up, I'm busy. Don't talk to me. Uh, okay. You, you, you couldn't be that busy if you were... Never mind, never mind. Perhaps we shouldn't even ask about that anymore. <laughs> Alright, so back under... Wait, wait, no, no, no. What am I doing? I don't have to go back underwater. The exit is... This way. So, yeah. As you can tell, not... Not really all that much going on. In fact, I could have just went over to the next location right away, which you might have wanted to hear all the stuff that was going on at the moment. At least, maybe, might be. I'm, I'm hoping you did at least. <laughs> oh God, controls! Oh God, controls! Okay. See that that dash that you do right at the beginning is it can really throw you off, especially when you're trying to aim somewhere precise. So, yeah, I gotta be careful with that if you can help it. And I'm just gonna get myself out of the water while avoiding the like likes of doom. And head back on over to the other side. Because you see that, that side that we haven't explored yet? Yeah, across there is a side that we need to go. And, well, well, yes, you could literally go through that entire side and not really get any other sort of leads. It's almost like misleading more than anything in all honesty. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna end off the part here then. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next part when I continue this trek through the Great Bay of, well, misleadingness. <laughs>